Hey folks, today I'm gonna to show you how to deploy an application to Google Cloud Run using Google Cloud Build. Let's jump in and get started. There are three different things we'll have to set up in Google Cloud. One is the Cloud Run service, which is what actually runs the application by running a Docker container. The second is the Cloud Build trigger, which will take instructions that we give it and it will build and deploy that Docker container for us. And the third thing is the Artifact Registry, which is where we store our Docker containers. And the very first thing we need to do is go make sure that we have the Artifact Registry repository set up. Here I am in Cloud Run. Like always, you wanna make sure that you have the correct project selected. And then I'm going to search for Artifact Registry. Inside of Artifact Registry, you can create different repositories, which is where you can store your Docker containers. From the repositories page, I'm going to select plus to add a new repository. Give your repository a name, choose Docker as the format, leave the mode as standard, and then choose whether or not you want it to be regional or multi-regional. I'm going to leave mine as a single region and I will choose one close to me. Down here at the bottom, if you want to, you can set up policies, which will automatically clean up some of your artifacts for you. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as it is and then say create. Now that we have an artifact registry repository ready, we can set up our cloud run and our cloud build trigger. Before you set up your cloud build trigger, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the right configuration files in your code repository. And the two main files you're gonna need is a Docker file and a cloud build YAML file. In my example, I'm using a .NET API, and this is the Docker file that I'm using. This is a very basic Docker file for a .NET build. Depending on what type of app you're using, this Docker file is gonna be a little bit different. Really the only thing specific to this Docker file for Google Cloud Run is that you're running this on port 8080. So you need to make sure that your app can run from that port. Now let's take a look at the cloud build file. This is also a pretty basic cloud build. Yours may look a little bit different than this, but there are three main components to this. The first step is we're going to use Docker to build our Docker image. And mine's pretty simple. All I'm doing is giving it a tag with this long name right here. And this is just using different build variables that are passed in from the cloud build, which we can edit here in a little bit. The first variable is the artifact registry host name. And then next is the project ID. Next is the artifact registry repo, which is the one that we just built. So we'll pass that name in here. And then the service name, colon, and then the commit hash. The next step is we use Docker and we're going to push that image to our artifact registry. And this path right here is the same tag name path that we used up here. So if I highlight all these, you can see it's the same in the entire file. And then the last step in my file is just to actually use the cloud SDK to deploy to cloud run. So it's using cloud SDK, it's using the run and deploy command, and it's gonna to go to the service name, which is the same service name that we're using here. And then we pass it the image, we'll pass it which region it is, and then which platform. And also just for reference, I'll have the GitHub repository for all this code in the description down below. Now let's move on and set up the service and the trigger. And what's really nice about how Google did this with Cloud Run is you can actually set up your Cloud Run service and your Cloud Build trigger at the same time. So let's go into Google Cloud Run and create a new service. And right here, if you say continuously deploy new revisions from a source repository, this will let you pull your application code from a Git repository, such as GitHub, then click set up with cloud build, choose whichever provider you wanna use, I'm using GitHub, and then select your repository. If you don't see it in this dropdown list, click this manage connected repositories button here, and then follow the instructions to link them together. Click next. Next, you tell it which branch to build off of. I'm gonna build mine off of a branch called dev and I'll put the build type as Docker file. We're gonna go in and fix this a little bit later because we're gonna be using a cloud build YAML file. Click save. And when you do that, it will automatically fill in the service name for you based off of the name of the repository. Feel free to change that if you want. I'm going to leave everything else as default. And then I'll say allow unauthenticated invocations. If you need to change any other settings, feel free to do that here and then click create. This initial build may fail for you, and if it does, that's okay, because we have to make a couple changes. Click this button up here, edit continuous deployment, and this takes you to the trigger. The cloud run service and the cloud build trigger are two separate things, and you can actually build them separately if you want. There's just a couple nice advantages if you let cloud run do it for you. The main advantage is that it will set up all the substitution variables that you're gonna need, which I'll get to here in just a minute. We're gonna make a few changes to this trigger. You can see it gives it a big ugly name, so go ahead and clean this up and name it whatever you want. You can leave the region as global if you want. I try to put mine all in the same, so I'm gonna change mine to US Central 1. I'm not gonna change my event because it already has it set to push to a branch, but it does have other options. For example, you can have it fire off this trigger when you push to a new tag, or when a pull request is accepted. Or you can have it be a manual invocation, which means you have to come in here and manually click the run button. You can have it based off a pub sub message, or even a webhook event. And then for source and repository and branch, that all stays the same for me. 
And down here under configuration, we need to make one big change. So when you set up this cloud build trigger, it's going to create an inline YAML file for you that it thinks is going to work to create your cloud run service. But in our case, we already have a cloud build YAML file. So let's go ahead and use that. So change location to repository and then update this path to point to wherever your file is. Mine's in the root, so this path is correct. Down here in substitution variables, this is why I like to let cloud run build this for me because it will put in all these variables for you. For example, this AR host name is going to be the host name where we set up our artifact registry a little bit earlier. And then same thing with the deploy region and the platform. These are all set up based off of how we set up our cloud run service. And there is one thing we wanna add. So if I go back into our cloud build YAML file, in our artifact registry, we create a repository and we wanna make sure that that gets used right here. So we need to take this name, AR repo, and we need to create a new variable for that. So add new variable, add it, and I believe mine was demo API. Lastly, at the very bottom, you can select which service account to use. I don't know if this is a new change that they made, but I've noticed that if I leave this with the one that they automatically select for me, that it will throw a couple errors. But if you leave it blank, it will automatically use the automatically created cloud build service account for you. And that one doesn't seem to have any issues. So I will go ahead and say save. And now that trigger is all set up. So if you push new code to your branch in your repository, it should automatically fire off for you. Or you can also come into here and you can run it manually. So I'm gonna do that just to make sure that it's working. So I'll say run. I'll leave all these variables as they are for the defaults. Then once that gets started, you can come over here to history and you can see the status of that. So you can see here that it's pending and now it's running. You can ignore these ones here. These are ones I was testing this morning. And now that build has completed, if you want to, you can click on the build number right here and you can see specifics about that build and it will break it out by each build step. Now let's go look at the result of this build. So it succeeded, which means that it deployed our application to cloud run. It also means that it pushed the Docker image to artifact registry. So if we go to artifact registry first, and if you go to your repository, mine was demo API. Now there's a new image here called demo API that was just created. And if you click on that image name, this will list all the different tags for that image. So if you make code changes and deploy that to GitHub, it will automatically run a new build for you. That new build image will be in here as well with a new tag name. The way that I do it is I have my tag names set up as the commit hash from Git. So if you make 10 commits and you have 10 new builds, you'll have 10 new images in here. Now, if we go look at Cloud Run, we should see our service deployed using this image. I'm gonna open up Cloud Run in its own tab so I can come back here and show you something. Here is that Cloud Run service, demo API. And if I go over to revisions, you can see that it was just deployed. And if you come over here on the right under containers, you can see that the image URL is going to point to the location where we just pushed that image in artifact registry. And if you click on this, it will take you directly to that image in artifact registry. This shows you all the information about that specific image that's deployed to that one specific revision. And that's pretty much the basics. So if you're just getting started with cloud run and cloud build, this is pretty much all you need to know. But I do have a couple bonus tips. The first bonus tip is that the cloud run service and the cloud build trigger are two completely separate independent things. The only reason that the cloud build trigger is deploying this service for us is because we gave it the service name and that's how it deploys in the cloud build YAML file for us. And another way of thinking about that is that cloud build doesn't have to also deploy it for us. Cloud build could just build the image and put it in artifact registry. And then maybe later on we go ahead and get that image and deploy it manually or through some other process. So if I go into my cloud build file, I technically could take this whole entire step out and then it wouldn't actually deploy for me. It would only do the build and the push to artifact registry. And the only reason that this one is deploying for us, like I said, is because we give it the service name. So this cloud run deploy is going to the service name that we give it, which in our case is this demo API service right here. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. I know that's a mistake I made early on. I thought these were very tightly coupled, even though they're not. And the second bonus tip is that the cloud build YAML file can do a lot of things for you. In our case, it's building one image and it's deploying that one image to a single service. However, let's say that we're a global company. And in that case, we would want to deploy this image to different regions across the globe. In order to do that, you could take this cloud SDK run deploy command right here and you could duplicate it. And then you could modify your cloud build trigger to have different deploy regions. So you could have deploy region and you could have deploy region two. And you could do that three, four, five, 10 times to deploy to all the different regions that you have across the globe. And then that way you're using a single build to deploy that image across the globe. And those are the main steps to use cloud build to deploy to cloud run. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.